Ta-da! <laughs> so, we have been soaking the chicken from this morning. See? Remember that? And we've been soaking the rice, which is of course basmati rice, just for an hour or so, maybe 40 minutes even. I'm boiling three cups of water with a bay leaf. And this is three cups of water and three cups of basmati rice. And putting that all in here. And we're just going to par cook this rice. So when you cook it halfway, you gotta really watch it. Um, because it happens quickly and it could be like just two minutes or five. I'm just gonna add a little bit of star anise. It can be broken pieces. That's, all. That's gonna give the uh, rice a nice um, aroma. It'll be subtle, but it'll be really lovely. So this is what the parboiled looks like, the parboiled rice. It was in here about four minutes. Some saffron, that's about a third of a teaspoon. You can even add a little bit more. Just a cup of milk, right? Yeah. And that will steep together. And we're gonna pour that into our biryani as well, as some other things. So we'll just let that sit. Here I'm gonna brown this chicken that we've been soaking. Get the oil nice and hot. And you want to let that brown for eight or ten minutes and you're going to do all of the chicken legs or chicken thighs. Okay, so we have browned all of the chicken legs. I did it in batches, and then I took whatever yogurt was remaining in the marinating dish there, cooked it on really nice high heat. You don't have to worry about this yogurt separating, by the way. It'll all work out, because we're gonna layer this. So this is basically done, and now I'm gonna saute the vegetables. We have finished <laughs> browning and heating through the chicken with all of its marinade. The rice has been parboiled, practically all boiled actually. I'm heating this frying pan to saute the vegetables. So again, I'm using sesame oil. You can use ghee, you can use whatever. I might throw some ghee into this actually. And you're just gonna let that heat and you, we're gonna saute these vegetables. First though, I'm gonna add some cumin seeds. About a teaspoon. Let those start to sizzle. And then we'll add some eggs. So we're just sauteing the cumin and garlic and breaking it up with a couple of bay leaves. You can use dry bay leaves. Indian dry bay leaves have a different fragrance and are totally fine here. In fact, I'm gonna add some amazing onion and ginger. And I'm gonna add the carrot also. This will all cook really beautifully. And I'm adding some of the same aromatics that we dry roasted and crushed for the chicken. Some cinnamon stick, a couple of star anise that we steam the rice with, some cloves, black pepper, green cardamom. I'm not really taking the time to dry roast them because we're gonna fry them. And I'm just adding a little heaping teaspoon of ghee with the sesame oil to give it a little bit. I'm gonna add a little garam masala, which is a blend that comes from North India of spices, many of which we have already added whole um, to the pan. Adding three quarters of a teaspoon. A little bit more. A little bit more. Total probably a heaping teaspoon made of this garam masala. Garam masala varies greatly. Um, and you can literally make it at home. That one's homemade and it's the best that way and most fresh. And a little bit of salt. I do have bell peppers that I'm putting in here too, but I'm gonna put them at the last so they don't overcook. 
So salt this a little bit. Want the onions to kind of get a little pan charred and crispy at the edges. You want to make sure that the salt and the garam masala is cooking in with the fat into the vegetables. This looks good. I'm going to add the bell pepper in here because I always want more vegetables. You could add peas, you could add cauliflower, it would be great. It would stand up to how this has to cook. And in a few minutes, we're going to be done and we're going to layer. So now, down. As you can see, the onion has that nice little crispy around the edges feel to it. And I'm adding two bell peppers, one yellow and one orange. Paella pan, but it's also going to be our bidiani pan. I'm taking a little bit of ghee and just putting it on the bottom so the rice will get crispy. <laughs> I'm just putting a little bit of rose water to give this some perfume. And also that saffron that we soaked in hot milk. Here it is. We're just going to put a little bit. Okay, so now these are the fried onions from before. We're just layering this a little bit. This is going to all cook together. Look at that. Pretty. Mm -hmm. And some fresh mint also, which will perfume it along with the rose water. You can also add something called Kevada water. And you can use other kind of chicken pieces, right? Not only the legs. Yeah, yeah. You can use stew chunks. You can... Bye. You style, I wouldn't use boneless breast, but you could. I'm gonna put it. Do you see the change between Hindi and Tamil so easily? I know, I know, I know, I know. All right. Mm. Every last bit. <laughs> Don't leave anything behind. Okay. Dot it with your fried onions. Give me some tin foil, like the heavy duty kind. Put some saffron on top. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Okay. Should I have been filming all this time? Yes. <laughs> I'm pouring the um, saffron that was soaked in hot milk with some of the milk. Mm -hmm. And we're going to cook this on an open fire outside and hope for the best, <laughs> frankly. Okay. It's gonna be great. I don't wanna waste any of it. I'm just putting about two cups of water in this. I want it to steam. And then we're just going to, I don't have a gun or a cover for this and I'm not gonna seal it in dough, but I am gonna tightly fit it with aluminum foil, giving it as much space to steam as I can. Put him outside. And hopefully we'll have dinner tonight. <laughs> that was very dangerous. <laughs>
Yeah, let's call the kids. Thank you. It's perfect, right? Mm -hmm. It smells so good. You can smell the mint. You can smell the rose water. You can smell the saffron. You can smell all the cloves and cardamom from the spices. That looks great. I can't wait to eat this. Okay. That looks amazing. Happy? Yeah, no, I'm happy. And we did it on the fire mostly. <laughs> Are you guys as excited as I am to eat this? Yeah, I'm really excited. Yeah, I'm sorry.